Hi guys, the Chancellor of the Exchequer, Jeremy Hunt, is something else. It must be remembered that Hunt warned against the impact Brexit would have back in 2016. That's why he campaigned to remain. Now, while support for leaving the EU is continually dropping, he says that it provides a catalyst for the UK to become a nimble economy which can help work its way back to growth. But first of all, with a straight face, he says honesty is necessary. Have a listen to this. Confidence in the future, though, starts with honesty about the present. So we want to be one of the most prosperous countries in Europe. And today I want to set out our plan to address those issues. That plan, our plan for growth, is necessitated, energised and made possible by Brexit. The desire to move to a high-wage, high-skill economy is one that's shared on all sides of that debate. And we need to make Brexit a catalyst for the bold choices that will take advantage of the nimbleness and flexibilities that it makes possible. He sounds like a hostage. <laughs> Look, when he talks about honesty, this is Jeremy Hunt back in March 2016 NHS would be put under threat by Brexit, says Jeremy Hunt. Health Secretary warns doctors and nurses would go, and he was completely correct, if Britain left the EU, but critics slam his stance as scaremongering. You know, he was right about Brexit, and now he's speaking as if he's a hostage. You know, in a hostage situation, I need to, or you know, Stockholm Syndrome, I'm not sure which it is. But he talks here about prosperity, and how both sides want a high-wage, high-skilled economy. But Brexit is the opposite of that. It's a race to the bottom. It's putting barriers to, putting in barriers to trade. Putting in barriers to access skilled, uh, skilled workers. How many times have we talked about abattoirs not being able to access butchers? How, how many times have we talked about the hospitality sector not being able to get the skilled workers they need? Uh, a whole load of projects have been postponed or cancelled because they can't get the skilled staff they need as well. Ca Brexit is not a catalyst to growth, it's the opposite. Now there was also this from the Daily Mail, of course the pro-Tory, pro-Brexit Daily Mail. Uh, I don't know if you can see it but I'll just read a small section. It says here, Hunt, he, will insist the downbeat projections from gloomy forecasters, gloomy forecasters, what, what like the OBR, the Office for Budget Responsibility, or the Bank of England, or I don't know, who, who, who are these gloomy forecasters? <laughs> Do not reflect the whole picture and argue that the economy is standing up well against global rivals. Now, in another report, uh, I think it was from Sky News, Hunt is cherry picking. He's choosing data from the beginning of the time the Tories took over back in 2010 and and using this as see we're we're the fastest growing nation in the G7 we well we were the fastest growing nation for a short period of time of course what's important is what's the situation now and the UK is the slowest growing in the G7 it's it's the only economy in the G7 that has not recovered to the same levels before the pandemic and it goes on to say, making the case for optimism, he will claim re EU red tape has held back investment and productivity, but future growth can be built on the freedoms which Brexit provides. So EU red tape is holding back investment. So investment has dropped since 2016. It's not EU red tape. And what is EU red tape? Is it the the red tape we're talking about that's been imposed on, on Britain because it has become a third country? Or is he talking about these so-called Brexit freedoms, this this bonfire of Brexit laws, which is, which businesses have said, please do not implement this because it's going to increase the bureaucracy. <sighs> Once again, He's talking as if he's in, <laughs> he's, you know, in a dangerous situation and his life is at risk and he needs to read a script. You know, does he not have any integrity? Does he not say, look, 
you know, I'm, I'm in this job. I need to be honest with the public. I need to be honest with businesses. Brexit is a mistake. Brexit is a disaster. It was a mistake. Even the public are coming around to this. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.